Hello. Hello, welcome back. To another video. This week we're going to look at leaky windows. So in this week's video, we're going to talk about a problem that occurs on most camper vans, caravans as well. Lots of people complain about it on forums. I wanted to explain some of the things you can do to stop it happening. So what we're talking about, leaky windows. So anybody who's got double glazed windows, the type that fit to our van, occasionally you get water coming down the inside of them and it causes concern for people, doesn't it? The first time you saw it, you were like, We've got a leak. <laughs> it was raining on the inside. Caroline panicked, yeah. Um, and, and you would, if you first time you've seen it, you'd, you'd see it and think, oh my God, why is water coming on the inside of our van? Um, so basically, a lot of people then take the vans back and you've got a lot of that hassle of going back under warranty, taking it back to your dealer, it might be miles away. There's a very simple thing you can do to try and stop your windows from leaking. And it's not inherent to any particular brand or it's, it's just a type of window and how they work. And I'll explain that in a second. So we'll go outside to the outside of the van and I'll explain what, what happens and how you can fix it. Okay, we're using the new microphone, so hopefully it's picking me up behind the camera as well as you in front of it. So, which window are we going to use? This is our leaky window. Now, I really want to break into a Tina Turner song here. I know it's steamy windows, but I do think leaky windows would work. But I'm going to save you from our sing. What do we have to do first before we open this window? Close the door, of course. <laughs> close the door. Very good. Caroline's been paying attention. Is that Smiley barking? All right, one second. I'll shut, shut the door. Okay, so this is the window we're going to use. And show me where it leaks in from. Yes, correct, up the top there. Normally along the top of the window, and I'm gonna go inside the van, or Karen's gonna go inside, open the window, and then I'm gonna, she's gonna come back out and film me, and I'll show you why it does that. So, let's switch over. So you'll hear in a second, when Karen opens this window, we've not opened it in a few weeks, and I've done this on purpose so I can film this video. So push open. You can hear that noise. That's the seals sticking. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. There we are. Hello. Window open. Okay, it's a bit cobwebby. Okay, we'll clean that. That's part of the part of the video. Come back out then. I'll help you out the door carefully. So one thing on the V-line is Karen's opening the door, you can see. If you push it all the way back, it'll crash into the window and you can damage your window when it's open. We don't normally open this window to be honest, but you can get on the Ducati, there's a stop, can't you? You can get a little yes, stop, which fits a stop somewhere. down on the runner, down there, and it stops it going past that point. So it stops it damaging your window. So you can see the window's open now and on the window height works, how it seals, there's a seal inside, there's a rubber seal on the inside of the window. So these type of windows where they come out like this, they're, they're not flush, they sit just on the outside of the van, they are double glazed, but it has a seal, a rubber seal, which sits on the outside of the window. And quite often, that's all the thing that's letting the water into your van. And because they're neglected, you don't tend to look after them very much. You don't tend to look at them at all. You just tend to open them when you want to use them. They get covered in dirt and grime and that stops them from working. They become hard and then they eventually break up. And that's where you get water coming through. So you can look after them. Well, in fact, if you come bring the camera in a second, just here on my fingers, you'll see all the dirt on ours. We've not cleaned it on purpose for this video. Can you see it? Okay. Yep. So first thing to do is to clean the dirt off. So just using a soft cloth, like a bit of mild soap or something detergent, just clean that off just like you would normally. And then make sure your seals are clean all the way around. So that's the first step. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so just very mild detergent, water, soapy water. I'm using a kitchen towel and just clean it off gently so you get all the dirt and grime off it around the seal just so you clean it you can see that's now going so to the top you can feel the grime underneath it all the way along and then just make sure it's all nice and clean can you do the house windows next please <laughs> next we're going to dry it very simply Get all the water off, the moisture, you can see now how much cleaner that is. Come back, see, all clean, back to a normal yeah. colour. So that'll help anyway, if you just clean them, it'll definitely help your seals. But there's something else you can do, and it's something you've probably already got in your cupboard that you can use on this to make it even better. So bear with me two seconds. Just one other thing, you can obviously clean the inside of your window as well, just to make sure it's even, even nice and cleaner. So it'll, it'll bond better with the seal. So again, just give that a wipe all the way around. So what in your cupboard might you have already that will help with these seals on the windows? 
seal lubricant for your toilet. If you've got a Thetford toilet, most people buy this when they buy the camper van. We've still got our first tin. We have got a spare one as well. This is silicon spray developed specifically or just specially developed for use on toilet seals. Not seals. Not seals, no. Um, but also on the back of the tin, it says safe to use on all types of plastic and rubber. So plastic, rubber, your seals rubber. So all you do is put this onto, um, it says to put it on, spray it on around to the thing, but you can't really do that with the window seal. So I spray it into a cloth or a kitchen towel and just rub it gently around the seals like you would anything that you're cleaning down. And if you do that, it makes sure that the rubber stays nice and supple and it gives a good bond to your window and stops the leaks. So that's really simple, I've just given it a spray, given it a wipe round on the seal. So if you come in close, you'll be able to see the seal now. It's all nice and shiny and supple. See it all spongy there? Really simple way to rejuvenate your window seals and it genuinely stops them leaking. Um, it doesn't every time because your windows can still be need adjusting. So if you find you try this and it doesn't work, it might need to go back into the dealer to have the windows adjusted. You can adjust them, I understand, at the top somehow. Um, don't build the van, so I don't know how that works, but certainly this helps to make sure that your seals stay nice and supple and stops the water coming in. Good. Hello again. Hello. Closing it? Yes, please. So you can see how easy it is. It just takes a little bit of time to make sure you grow in all your windows and give them a wipe. So it literally takes, well, I don't know, probably say half an hour to an hour, doesn't it? Yeah, it's worth doing a great DIY quick fix. It's really simple as well, just cleaning your windows, making sure the seals are there. And that's what stops the water coming in. It's that rubber seal against the plastic that stops the water coming in. Yeah, I suppose like when you get um, like a bit of stick or something under your windscreen wiper, isn't it? And it never wipes your window. If you've got something in there that's yeah. uh, got captured whilst you've had the window open, then it can create a tiny little gap can't it yeah and dirt and grime builds up while you're driving as well on the side of the van especially in the winter so it's a really simple one to keep your windows nice and fresh so try that first before you take your van back to dealer to get it fixed that's it for this week's video um so we'll see you in next week's video we've got one more educational video and then we we'll promise you we've got a trip coming up so yeah. two weeks time we'll be on a video away in the camper van thanks for watching we'll see you next week bye, bye. so for those of you wondering where the beer reviews have been i have been doing dry january um mm. I needed to try and lose a bit of weight. I put on loads of weight last year for a number of reasons, but I'm trying to lose weight. So the first month of January, I've cut alcohol. So I've switched to Brewdog, uh, I, Punk IPA, alcohol free. So this is what I'll be drinking, been drinking through January. Don't worry, beer reviews are coming back in February. I promise you, we're back to drinking again in moderation. And I've got my personal trainer here next to me who's been helping me uh, get fit again. So hopefully you'll see in the next few weeks, you'll see the weight start to fall off. <laughs> Honest. <laughs>